Welcome to Coffee Commerce. My name is Sean Ramit and I'm the grandson of a coffee farmer from Guyana, South America. On Coffee Commerce, we talk about the stories behind coffee as they relate to ideas, commerce, and society. And we've been talking about coffee and this influence in the uprisings and revolutions and even of war. In the last episode, we discussed the role coffee played in the American Revolution. It is of interest to note that both coffee and the American Revolution would have influence across the pond, but this time in France. When the American colonists won independence from Great Britain in the Revolutionary War from 1775 to 1783, it had been the French that had participated in the war, playing a key role, and were close allies. Several years later, the French reformists found themselves in a similar situation to the American colonists. The French faced political, social, and economic hardship, not too different from the American counterparts. Among the French Revolution was likely a more complex situation with numerous triggers and causes. What the American Revolution did was it set the stage for an uprising that the French had the benefit of seeing firsthand. It should be noted that both the French and Americans had their own unique motives for revolting against the ruling class of the day. Some similar causes led to both revolutions. For example, both had economic struggles. Both the American and the French had a difficult taxation which was both unfair and discriminatory. The extravagance of King Louis XVI and Mary Antoinette, along with, with France's involvement in the American Revolution, pushed France into the edge of bankruptcy. Both revolutions were a revolt against the monarchies of the day. The American colonists revolted against King George III and his parliament, and for France, it was against King Louis XVI. Both felt that they were unequally represented with certain segments of society, namely the elites and the aristocracy, having larger voices than they did, even though they had the majority of the population. Interestingly enough, the National Assembly in France would go as far as using the American Declaration of Independence as a model when drafting their own Declaration of the Rights of Man and the Citizens in 1789. Perhaps the single most significant point was the American victory over the British. When the French saw that a revolt could be successful, even against a major military power like the British, and have lasting change, this may have been arguably the most inspiring thing and the spark that was needed for the people. The newly formed government of the United States also became a model for the French Revolutionary. And just as similar as coffee drinking, and the coffee house was the backdrop to the American Revolution. It was a gathering at the Café de Foix that sparked the French Revolution in 1789. But first, some backstory. Earlier that year, Louis XVI brought together the state generals in Versailles to discuss the financial crisis. Nothing was resolved, and many would say it ended in more confusion than anything. As a result, of the Versailles meeting, Louis XVI dismissed Jacques Necker. The issue was that he was the only government member the people trusted. This did nothing more than to further anger the French people against the king. This takes us back to the coffee house, Café de Foix. On or around July 12, 1789, Camille de Mola a young lawyer stood on the table at a coffee house and shouted to the crowds. The people erupted and this sent Paris into pandemonium. Two days later, on July 14, 1789, angry citizens stormed into the Bastille fortress. Coffee houses even had a role in the French Revolution. Eventually, the ruling class would be disbanded, the monarchy removed, and King Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette were sent to the guillotines for high treason. July 14th on the French calendar marks a national holiday and it is regarded as the start of the French Revolution. 
All of this had been brewing before this, this date. It was sparked by the Café de Foix incident over coffee. Coffee would continue to have its influence on nations and society well into the 1800s and beyond. But that's another story, more than one story, for some more coffee later. Thank you.